being close to those we love matters. That's why this Easter is going to be tough for many of us. Out of concern for our nation's health, we're spending time apart from friends, the time apart from our family. And it matters when we can no longer be physically present with those we love. It matters when we can't hug a relative who lives in another city. It matters when we can't extend a simple handshake to a fellow parishioner. It matters when we can't simply be with each other, sharing a meal, sharing space, sharing life. Easter reminds us that the God who made us is not a social distancer. In the Lord Jesus, he has come near to us. Read through the Gospels and you notice how often Jesus' body becomes a means of extending God's grace to those around him. When he reaches out his hands to heal, when he reclines at table next to sinners, divine abundance encounters human need. And at the climax of the Gospels, it is his body given for us on the cross that brings salvation and forgiveness to all who believe. But that is not the end of it. On the third day, after he's been raised from the dead, Jesus makes a special promise to his first disciples and to everyone who would follow him. You can read it in the very final verse of Matthew's Gospel. Jesus says, And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. These words have great power in our current circumstances. The risen Jesus is able to be present with us anywhere and everywhere, unrestricted by the limitations of life in this present age. Through his Holy Spirit, he is present with his people, whether they're gathered in great congregations or scattered in private households. Nothing, not a locked door, not even the grave, can keep him apart from those he loves. They are never isolated from him and he from them. As our nation journeys through the challenges of COVID-19, we have an ideal opportunity to take hold of the new life and hope that God offers us in Jesus. None of us knows how long this present crisis will last. We can know that the risen Lord Jesus, the one who has conquered death and the grave, can be present with us to the very end. If you'd like to find out more about the new life Jesus offers, please email me at contact at anglicancg.org.au and I would love to send you further information. My name is Mark Short. I'm the Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Canberra and Goulburn, and it has been my honour to share this wonderful news with you.